A rugby league bout of massive proportions seems to be gaining momentum and, well, at least it is here on the Maddie John Show. Uh, Gordy. What's up, Lara? Up against David Clemmer. It's making the papers uh, now. You've, you've started... <laughs> <laughs> You've got a car. Is that You've got his a... body. <laughs> wow. You've got a car. Thousand dollars put up, love. I believe there's sponsors jumping all over themselves to throw money at this, Gordy. What do you say? Yeah, I got, I got the two hundred and forty or something before. What well, do you think you could you no. do it? In all honesty, forty-two. Could you do it? Well, let's do the tail. Let's do the tail of the tape, young. Okay, Gordon Tallis versus David Clement. Let's have a look at some of their, their best work. This one, of course, oh, is oh. against poor old Terry O'Connor. Gordon hit, with that, hit him with that many rights, he was begging for a left. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> poor old Terry. Oh. Now, what, what happened there, Gordon? You hit yourself on the way through. And Ben Ross, I mean, he has that much, he does have much luck with Queensland as Ben Ross, does he? Yeah, it is. And, uh, oh, my. Against Dave Clement. <laughs> so, there we go, tan of the bin. Oh. And, but got to say, good. I mean, there's no, always listen, been... I tell you what, it was a short. They asked the question was asked, was he showing no respect when he said the Cameron Smith retire and all that? And I said, well, he wasn't, and he doesn't need it. He's a good player. I think Hargreaves went through the same thing, where they think that they've got to be tough and by tough by pushing people and hitting them late. He's too good for that. You saw tonight when he concentrated on footy, he come off the back fence. He like his actions does his talking. He doesn't need to push and punch people. And then he's coming to Oregon. And he was. I, and I think he got the horse or the cart before the horse. His actions are playing better. And then they asked what would happen back in my day if he got in my face. I said, well, I would have punched him, mm -hmm. which I would have, because that's what happened back <laughs> in my day if they got in your face. Mm. And then that was 10 years ago. So then that got turned into that I wanted to fight him, and I don't want to fight him. No, no, he's only, he's so a young just... bloke finding his way too, and he was good tonight. My first game ever of rugby league commentary was when Gordon Tallis thought Ben Ross's chin was a pinata. All these years later, I thought I was going to get the opportunity to commentate Gordon Tallis as a boxer against David Clemmer. Now, we know that's not happening, but Gordy rang me during the week and he wanted a special introduction. We can't let it go to the waste. So here we go. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Out of the Maroon Corner. Originally from Townsville, he is now based in Brisbane. On professional debut, representing the Chewbacca Gym from Chewbacca. He weighed in at a lean, mean, ripped, chiseled, buffed and cut. 118.25 kilos. Gordon Snickers. Mm. Great work, Andy. Calls a lot of the fights. Yeah. And, uh, I like gonna, Jerry Ripes. Well, we're going to talk about uh, that later with uh, Lara Pitch. You want <laughs> like some news on that, mm. uh, yeah, that prize fight?